Today we're going to be talking about how to install a keyless entry lock on one of these Arizona side gates. We see these on almost every house in Arizona, but if you want to go keyless entry on your gate, how do you do it? I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith, and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. It's a hot one today, so you'll notice we have our shade up. Arizona weather, about 115. But, you know, that's some of the things we have to face as locksmiths in Arizona. Now, here's one of the challenges about putting keyless entry on a side gate. You may have seen my video about how to lock side gates. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it down below. One of the most convenient ways to lock a side gate is to get in with a deadbolt or a handle or a keyless entry system. But on these Arizona gates, we only have a one inch tube here. And so basically what we have to do in most of the cases is we have to cut this out, weld in a gate box to support the locks, and then put everything back together. Well, that's really labor intensive and that costs a ton of money. So what we're gonna talk about today is this little keyless entry lock here that's small enough to fit right on the edge of this gate. So you can make a no weld, easy to do keyless entry for this gate. Ideally, you want the gate to automatically latch. So that's the reason why you go through that effort to weld in the gate box. If this was an inch and a half tubing, there are some great no weld auto latching locks as well that we highlight in that video that I mentioned earlier. But for the one inch tubing, easy install like this, there's no great way to make this gate automatically latch. So you're stuck having to weld in a gate box. Now this particular homeowner, he's okay having to manually lock the gate. So the keyless entry we're gonna put on here basically works like a deadbolt. We're gonna install it when you want the gate locked, you throw it and lock it. When you unlock it, the gate stays in the unlock state again until you re-throw the lock. So that's something to consider about this lock. It will save you a ton of money, but you're gonna lose that one feature. Is that important to you? That's something you need to decide. Now here's the back side of the keyless lock we're gonna put on right now. And there is something to note here. This lock has a three quarter inch throw. It turns three quarter of an inch. So your gap in the gate between the gate and the post needs to be such that that three quarter inch is enough to cover that gap and lock the lock. Now this lock can be reversed. So if you have a larger gap, you can install it this way. So if you have a larger gap and this three quarter inch is enough to get it by, you install it, you flip this plate around so it locks that way. If the gate's really close to each other, which is what we're gonna do in this case, so that this extension is large enough to cover that gap, that's how you install the lock. That's what we're going to do today. Now before you install this lock, you need to know whether or not you have a left or right-handed gate. This lock ships in a right-handed gate configuration, and if you have a left-handed gate, you're going to have to change that. We're going to show you how to change the handing in just a second. So what is a left-handed or right-handed gate? Well. Think about how you were reaching for the gate. If you want to open that gate with your left hand, because the hinges are on the left, you have a left-handed gate. If you want to open that gate with your right hand, because the hinges are on the right, you have a right-handed gate. This gate here, again, is left-handed. If you do install it with the wrong handing, you'll know it because it'll require a code to lock the gate, but no code to unlock the gate, which is the exact opposite of what you want. So here is how you change the handing of a lock key mechanical keyless lock. Changing the handing on a lock key keyless lock is very easy to do. When you turn the lock over, you'll see a plate on the back that is held on by two blue screws. You remove those screws and underneath those screws, you're going to see a pin on the right hand side of the lock as you're looking at it. You want to move that pin over to the other side and that's what's going to change the handing of the lock. Once you do that, you just put the screws back on and you're done. Last piece of bookkeeping, I know you're eager to get to the install, but if you want to change the combination that came with the lock to a new combination, we have an entirely other video that covers how to change the combination of these lock key digital locks. I'll put a link to that down below so that you can change the combination before you do the install. Next part of the installation is you want to mark the holes that you need to drill for the lock. These locks come with a paper template. You just hold it on up to the rail there and mark them and drill away. Um, you'll find that you need two different size drill bits. The drill bits are specified in the documents. We recommend you use exactly what is necessary and called for in the documentation when drilling these holes, particularly because you don't have a lot of space on that one inch tube. 
you can then go to the back side of the gate and use the larger bit to clean up the burrs that are on the back of the holes. This installation, we're using the optional pole handle, which gets installed underneath the lock. And during this install, the next thing that Mike's going to do is he has to determine the proper length of the tailpiece to choose. The lock comes with three different length tailpieces to accommodate various size widths of the gate. And you want to hold the lock up there and choose the tailpiece that makes the most sense. It looks like that's our guy right there. Now you start assembling the lock. On our lock, because we have the pull handle, it's going to be pull handle, rubber gasket, keyless entry. That's the order those things go together. And then the post, just screw and secure those three pieces together and poke right through the gate. You then put the weather gasket on the back side of the lock and proceed to screw those pieces together. The only thing you really need to be aware of there is it is always good to pre-start the screw before you take the drill to it. So now we just have this big gap here and we just need to shrink that gap down so that when that latch is closed it actually locks the gate in place and we do that by just adjusting the top and bottom hinge on that gate outward so that we push the entire gate over uh, to the other side. And we're gonna take care of that right now. So here it is, fully installed. We've closed that gap so everything locks good. Go ahead and enter the code. We've unlocked the gate. There you go, when you wanna lock it, you can just throw it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. So here's the inside of the lock. If you're inside the house, you could just throw it and lock it. We got at least a half inch cover there, which is what we were looking for. Throw it back and unlock it so you can get it out. There is a strike piece that comes with this lock that secures that bolt. Because this is a outward swinging gate, we didn't have to install it here because it's going to latch behind that tubing. But if it were an inward swinging gate, you would install the strike that came with the lock. Okay, so we got everything installed. It's hot out here. I'm covered in sweat. I'm ready to go home. This is how you install an easy keyless entry for an Arizona gate with that thin, narrow one inch tubing. This lock will meet your needs so long as you don't need it to be self-latching. If you like this video, be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications when new videos are released. I'm Robert and you've been watching Locksmith Recommended.